Ants have social networks, and they communicate via vomit. Ants, like people, have social networks, however instead of exchanging information via posts and comments, they vomit into each other's mouths. A foregut, a midgut, and a hinged are found in most insects. However, for social insects, the foregut has evolved into a type of social stomach. Adria Leboeuf, an assistant professor and director of the Laboratory of Social Fluids at the University of Freiburg in Switzerland, explained. According to Leboeuf, lead author of a recent paper reporting the findings, the contents of the midgut and hinged are digested, whereas the contents of the foregut are supposed to be shared. Prophylaxis, or regurgitating food into the mouth of another creature, is especially prevalent in highly sociable organisms such as ants. During a trophallaxis event, nutrients and proteins are transported from one individual's social stomach to another's, and the ants construct a social circulatory system that connects each member through a succession of these exchanges. Carpenter ants, Camponidus, share these nutrients with one another on a regular basis. Leboeuf told Live Science that if you watch at one colony for a minute, you can witness 20 trophallaxis occurrences. An ant colony can have hundreds of thousands of ants. We published an article about five years ago describing the idea that when ants execute trophallaxis, they're not only distributing external food, Leboeuf said, alluding to a 2016 study published in the journal Elif. Hormones, nest mate identification cues, tiny RNAs, and all sorts of other things are being sent around. Ants are merely swapping nutrition when they vomit into one another's mouths, according to the study's authors. Instead, the ants are forming a digestive social network in which energy and knowledge are continually circulated around the colony and acquired by those who require them. This is similar to how your brain may secrete and transmit a hormone. A colony of ants, according to Leboeuf, is not a collection of individual ants, but rather a colonial superorganism in which the colony acts as if it were a body. The tissues and organs of the superorganism may be thought of as groupings of ants with distinct duties, similar to how a body has tissues and organs that execute jobs in support of a common objective. Foragers gather food, nurses look after the children, workmen build tunnels, and so on. Organs use the circulatory system to transport a lot more than just food, so might the social circulatory system do the same? We investigated whether the proteins they interchange are connected to an individual's position in the colony or the colony's life cycle to help us understand why ants share these fluids. Lead author Sanja Hakala, a postdoctoral fellow at the University of Freiburg, stated. Leboeuf and Hakala examined the social stomach contents of carpenter ants in both wild and lab-raised colonies in their most recent study. They detected 519 proteins being transmitted among the ant colonies in all of their samples. 27 of those proteins were present in all of their samples, independent of the colony's age, location, or individual ant's condition. According to Leboeuf, the workers appear to be hunting for food, converting it into certain proteins, and then moving those proteins around. The scientists discovered that when a colony grows, more nutrient storage proteins, which operate as a highly concentrated food source, enter circulation, resulting in older colonies, having more of these proteins than younger colonies. Adults and ant colonies don't always need to eat, according to Leboeuf. Instead, they break down these nutrient storing proteins gradually. Researchers were able to distinguish between juvenile and mature colonies, as well as wild and lab-raised colonies, by assessing which proteins were detected where. In comparison to their wild counterparts, who exhibited a significantly lesser variety of proteins in their social stomachs. The social stomach contents of an individual ant can also influence its function in the colony, according to the researchers. Nurse ants, who look after the colony's young, had greater levels of anti-aging proteins than the rest of the colony, possibly to ensure their survival. Oragers have larger amounts of nutrition storage proteins than nurses, a study has found. Researchers are baffled as to why this is the case. We now know the things are made in one person and then end up in another, which is quite fascinating. The ants pass stuff around in such a way that we can see what they're exchanging, he says. Studying ants could help scientists better understand how metabolic effort is distributed inside individual organisms, such as between cells in a body.